So apparently, guys, anybody can get verified on Roblox now, which is pretty interesting. Yeah, we're going to be covering this new update in today's video. Shout out to Blocks News, by the way. So they tweeted out, starting today, Roblox will update how followers are counted when assessing if a user who is contributing to a top experience, one with playtime exceeding 1 million hours in the last 90 days, which is absolutely insane. Like, that's a pretty big Roblox game. Anyway, if they have met their criteria to gain the verification badge, specifically, only genuine followers will be included and any followers Roblox systems have identified as bots will be excluded. Okay, that's kind of funny because I've got like 5 million bot followers. But yeah, as you can see, I'm still verified. Anyway, so the threshold for the number of followers acquired will remain at 10,000. And that's probably like the key information for today's video because there is a few people spending a lot of Robux to get verified on Roblox. Now, I just want to say, guys, being verified at this point in time is kind of pointless. If you think about it with like Twitter, I think Instagram, do this as well right you can pretty much like pay monthly to be verified which honestly is like one of the stupidest things i've ever seen i guess that was elon musk's idea right i kind of like elon musk i think he's quite a funny guy right he's very smart he knows how to make loads of money but this verification update was so stupid it kind of just like ruins the whole point of verification i'm actually very glad that roblox hasn't gone to like instagram or twitter levels where they're just asking people to pay for it will they do that in the future maybe but right now guys you need around 10 followers and you also need to have some popular game i think udc creators can also get it as well depending how much followers they have so um yeah this is what some people have been doing big shout out to anna by the way so she posted this a while ago like a few days ago she said some dude really got six thousand followers from this ad so this udc creator right obviously he really wants to be verified so he was spending money on roblox ads to get verified and honestly i don't know how much this guy spent but i don't think it worked out for him it looks like here he had around 600, 700 followers. I guess we can see how much he's got now. Oh, here's the full ad, by the way. Why would anyone spend money on this? It's just like, oh, I don't know. It's such a silly thing to spend money on. I honestly think, guys, the only single verification that I care about is my YouTube verification. Because obviously, sometimes we get like the spam bots pop up and stuff. So having the verification check mark on my channel, if I ever like comment on someone's video or if somebody wants to find my channel or something, I feel like that one's pretty important so they know I'm the real guy. But with verification, verification on stuff like roblox and instagram i don't know i don't really feel like it matters so much oh here he is so i found his game he's still updating it five hours ago i wonder how much he spent on this because i don't even think it worked so he's got around six thousand followers maybe he's stuck on that i wonder if these are like botted or something you can normally tell after like the first few pages let me just have a look oh no this actually does appear to be legit i remember when i first got botted i'd like scroll just like a few pages in and just all of the followers were just like these weird bacon hair accounts I never even found out who botted my account. Apparently, it was some like relatively famous Roblox hacker, but um, yeah, I never actually found out the guy that did it. Anyway, it looks like this guy's still got 4,000 left. If you guys want to follow him, go for it. I think he'd be very um, happy about that. Oh, so he is a UGC creator. Yeah, it's kind of weird Roblox have done this like via followers, because if you think about it, followers are probably like one of the most pointless features on the website. They don't really do anything, I guess, except for verification. Now, maybe Roblox just thought, oh yeah, we should probably make followers like actually do something oh if you're a star creator you can get those like little brick sort of like cube awards i got a couple of those a few years ago they were quite nice i guess got no idea what happens to those by the way okay so yeah this guy's like a genuine udc creator i'm surprised roblox didn't give it to him already but um there you go i guess roblox do actually care about followers oh it turns out somebody else is doing this as well okay let's see how many followers they've got so they were on 1.6k casually blossom they actually got to 10k wait so they spent money on this and they're still not verified i just noticed they've got a black valve there is no way that's real nah it's not i just knew it so the thing is with this person i don't even think they're a udc creator i think they're just like genuinely trying to get verified but if they don't own a big game or they're not like a udc creator or a youtuber or anything i'm pretty sure even if you get 10k you still don't get verified so um yeah that was a waste of robux oh my god i just remembered this from a few months ago oh so this was december pretty much yeah like people which owned massive games like the dodgy sort of games you know you get those like skibbity toilet games or like jeff the killer or like build to survive lanky box or something just those absolute garbage games the people behind those types of games which were getting like loads of plays from like little kids pretty much right they were selling verification badges for like three thousand dollars to ten thousand dollars if somebody actually bought that oh god you've got to be dumb to pay that amount of money for a verification badge it's not even worth it actually it's more annoying i'll join a game and people that don't know who i am would be like oh my god he's verified oh my god and i'm just like oh leave 
leave me alone. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's just annoying. So I think what these guys were doing, clearly this guy's the seller, right? So he was like adding people to like the dev team of his game to try and get them verified. I'm pretty sure there's like a really slim chance of that working. So if you were paying that kind of money to get verified, like you're an idiot. So yeah, guys, for all of you which want to be verified on Roblox, it kind of sucks. I guess it's good in a way that somebody can't pretend to be like a shark blocks clone or something and like scam you guys. I guess that's like the benefit of it. To be fair though, even though I'm in a game and I have like the verification logo, a lot of people still call me like the fake person or whatever or like a fake account. Also, it's not that cool anymore. I used to be able to click on it and it would come up saying like this player is verified. Now it just like shows your player ID. So yeah, I guess Roblox's website broke a bit and they never got around to fixing it. So there we go. Um, Yeah, for those of you which want to get verified, um, honestly, I wouldn't really worry about it. It's kind of pointless. I know for some of you, you might think it looks kind of cool and it's like a flexing kind of thing but i don't know i think you'd get bored of it very quickly for those of you which own popular games or maybe you're a ugc creator or a youtuber yeah get 10,000 followers and i'm pretty sure roblox will verify you it's just kind of annoying you have to get followers now because getting followers on roblox is like kind of random honestly why do people even follow like roblox accounts it means nothing just as i was randomly browsing the roblox website on my old accounts i actually got an ad and it says only verified users can join this group so people People are really going crazy over the verification badge recently. Is this true? Is this a real? Oh, damn. So, oh, yeah, I don't recognize most of these people, to be honest. Uh, let me just see. Uh, yeah, I don't recognize anybody here. Oh, Raw Blocky. I think I've heard of him from Twitter, maybe. Oh, the Amazed Man. I know him. So this is like a genuine thing. Okay, uh, fair enough. Yeah, I think most of these people are probably like uh, game developers. I can't really see any YouTubers in here. Interesting, though. Um, yeah, it turns out this is actually a real thing. Thing. I think this has also been a thing for a while, but people have started making like uh, verification check marks. I think uh, one of these like goes in your profile picture. Is it this one here? I guess we can have a look. Oh no, it like uh, floats above your avatar's head. I can just see it up there. Yeah, I don't think anyone would fall for that to be honest. They've kind of like made it in the style of like a GUI or something. Kind of clever though. Yeah, there's loads of verification stuff. Some of these are really funny. Some of them are cool like the hammers and stuff and like crowns and top hats. But there you go. If you guys want any verification accessories, maybe I'll link some down below. They do look quite funny. And there we go. It really does seem Roblox players are going a bit crazy over the whole like verification stuff. Personally, I've never really liked being verified because it always just like brings attention towards myself. And I don't know, it's just unwanted attention, you know? So yeah, if you guys want to be verified, I don't know, get 10k followers, see what happens. You've got to own a decent game though. I don't know what happened when public UGC releases, but um, yeah, we will have to wait and see. I mean, they couldn't verify everybody on the entire platform, could they? Well, then again, I guess Twitter kind of did if you pay for it. So um, yeah, I don't know. Stuff's weird. Yeah.